E3 2021 was in general a bit of a damp fish, particularly in my opinion. Nothing really got people jumping out of the seats or made a huge buzz of excitement. Covid, of course, is to blame for this, with studio work plans being thrown completely into the dark. I think an extra year without an E3 may have actually been sensible in this era, rather than rushing back with half-hearted announcements that nobody can really commit to. Despite this, there were some good announcements, and here's my top 5. The Guardians of the Galaxy are here, and you play as Star-Lord. I love Guardians of the Galaxy. I love Marvel. And despite this game being one of the more exciting announcements of E3, I can't quite get what happened with Avengers out of my mind. I'm going into Guardians of the Galaxy with far less expectations, which hopefully will be a good thing as we learn more about this new up-and-coming game. Fatal Frame, Maider of the Black Water, is one of the few... Wii U games I actually played. It's spooky, gripping, and makes you want more in a great announcement which may have actually been overshadowed in a higher quality E3. Sea of Thieves Pirates of the Caribbean is honestly one of my favourite announcements of this year's E3. It 100% made me want to play Sea of Thieves, which is not something I'd ever expected to happen. I look forward to seeing more gameplay of this, and hopefully actually getting to play it. I actually know very little about Elden Ring, but my goodness this game looks incredible. It's almost like Game of Thrones, Lord of the Rings, Dark Souls and The Witcher somehow had a baby. Now there's a mental image. This game was definitely a highlight and I wouldn't be surprised if we eventually see a TV slash movie adaptation. Avatar Frontiers of Pandora has me intrigued. Very intrigued in fact. So intrigued! It's in my video ahead of Breath of the Wild 2 and that weird little... Zelda Tamagotchi. It looks beautiful. Avatar, I mean, not the Tamagotchi. We've been seeing them since the 90s. I'm not sure if it'll be a standalone story or tied to the films, but I am here for it. And there is my top 5 E3 2021 announcements. Be sure to let me know yours in the comments section down below. Give this video a like if you've enjoyed and subscribe to see more. Until next time, remember... Spider-Man is the greatest game ever made. Bye!